Charlotte, North Carolina if only Stephen Curry worried about making the most shots in a three-point contest against his brother, Seth. If only Curry focused solely on winning his first NBA All-Star MVP. He already has won the NBA's three-point contest 2015, once and shattered countless other shooting records in real games. He already has collected two regular season MVP trophies. Therefore, what is so challenging for Curry to win his second three-point championship on Saturday and become the All-Star MVP on Sunday? Well, besides those two responsibilities, Curry will also juggle returning to his hometown where family members, friends and a full itinerary awaits him. I'll just enjoy it, Curry said. I understand going and there's a lot going on. But it's all stuff I want to be a part of. Curry does not want to proclaim himself the host for NBA All-Star Weekend. Leave that to Michael Jordan, the Hornets owner and six-time NBA champion of the Chicago Bulls. Leave that to Kemba Walker, who represents the Hornets' lone all-star. But Curry may as well be the unofficial mayor considering what he means to a city that he said yielded a lot of pivot points in his life. Clay Thompson subscribes. You can too for just 11 cents a day for 11 months receive a free Warriors Championship book. Sign me up. This is where Curry grew up. This is where Curry attended Central Church of God and developed his Christian faith. This is where Curry's father, Dell, played the majority of his NBA career. This is where Curry starred at Charlotte Christian, won three conference titles and had his no. 20 jersey retired despite being the scrawny point guard that elicited few scholarship offers. This is where Curry played at Davidson, advanced to the Elite Eight during his sophomore year and amazed the Warriors enough to select him no. 7 in the 2009 NBA Draft. We'll be everywhere and all over the city throughout the week, Curry said. I want to be in the moment and celebrate how 10 years in I'm coming full circle back where it all started back at home. I'm going to enjoy myself, how will Curry enjoy himself during Charlotte's second NBA All-Star Weekend? On Friday afternoon, Curry and his brother will be among various All-Stars, NBA legends and WNBA players that will participate in a clinic for over 1,500 local youth. Then, Curry will visit Carol Hofner Center, something that his foundation plans to help refurbish. Later that evening, Curry plans to attend Davidson's game against St. Joseph's. In between interviews and the three-point contest on Saturday, Curry might attend a Charlotte Christian game. Before Sunday's All-Star Game, the NBA will honor Dell, who leads the Hornets franchise for most games played, 701 from 1988 to 1998, and trails second, 9,839 points behind Walker, 9,907 as the Hornets' all-time leading scorer. It seems likely Curry will eat at Bojangles, his favorite eatery known for its fried chicken. Want Warriors news delivered to your phone? Sign up for a free trial of Mark Medina's Warriors text messaging service asterisk 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 like anyone returning to their hometown, however, it appears unlikely Curry can make every visit he wants. He has way more hometown friends, family members, coaches and teachers than days, parties and meals available. Those that remember Curry best, though, have appreciated his efforts in the past decade for maximizing his schedule and having the same personality he had growing up. Southern hospitality, as Curry put it. He's a close guy and genuine, Seth said of his older brother. He's always been real with who he is. So he does a great job handling the fan and tasks that everybody asks of him. These all-star weekends are taxing on him and he's not really getting rest. But that's part of it, AP photo, Nell Redmond, AP photo, Nell Redmond Curry handling plenty of ticket requests well before he became a three-time NBA champion, a two-time NBA regular season MVP and one of the league's best shooters, Curry's former high school theater production teacher Chad Fair could buy a ticket to a Warriors-Hornets game for only $15 online. Even then, though, Fair saw swarms of Curry fans asking him for countless autographs before and after the games. Is this for real? Fair asked Curry. Every night man, Curry answered. It never gets old, Curry rarely turns down autograph signings.
but he admittedly has become exhausted this week with handling ticket inquires for NBA All-Star Weekend. He estimated that the requests have reached into the single digits and likely counting. That's getting overwhelming, Curry said, I'm embarrassed to say, it's closing in. All of Section 120, to ease those requests in recent years, the Hornets franchise has offered group discounts, reserved seating and access during pre-game shoot-around for Charlotte Christian and Davidson alumni. The Hornets often do that for any of their own players or opponents that attract a large alumni following. Afterwards, Curry has often spoken to those groups in Charlotte as well as in road games in Philadelphia and Atlanta. We're all over the world and all over the place with busy schedules. But we find ways to make it work, Curry said. That's kind of the Davidson way, courtesy Jeff Siner, Charlotte Observer. Curry regularly attends Charlotte Christian and Davidson games of the nine times that Curry has played in Charlotte. He has attended a Davidson game three times. Coach Bob McKillop boasted the Wildcats won all three games before a sellout crowd during each of Curry's visits. Perhaps that foreshadows Curry's planned visit for the Davidson Street. Joseph game on Friday. Perhaps Curry would visit more games. But the Warriors played in Charlotte in 2009-10 on the second night of a back-to-back. Davidson also often did not have a home game the night before the Warriors-Hornets game in four seasons. Otherwise, Curry has attended his alma mater's game. Last season, he even stopped by Davidson's game against VMI the day after injuring his right ankle in New Orleans. He always makes a special point of getting here when he is in Charlotte, McKillop said. I just find that inspiring and exhilarating. Here he is, one of the most famous athletes in the world and he still finds time to visit his alma mater and spend an evening there during his already tightly condensed schedule. Afterwards, Curry often talks to McGillip's players. But Curry said he avoids talking about a legacy that entails being the program's all-time leading scorer, 2,635 points and three-point shooter, 284, and leading the Wildcats to an Elite Eight appearance as an O. 10 seed. That does not surprise May Killip, whose most vivid memories involve Curry praising his teammates over himself in press conferences. Instead, Curry said he swaps stories about campus life and playing for McKillop. He often fields questions immediately on if McKillop was as hard on me as he's on them. The answer is always yes, Curry said, laughing. I always get jealous of them, too. I go back and the facilities are so much nicer, Curry said that in a playful tone. Accounts depict Curry as humble during his visits back home. On Jan. 2017, Charlotte Christian School in Davidson held dual ceremonies that entailed retiring his No. 20 high school jersey and naming, Section 30 for the Wildcats Students Section. Beforehand, Curry hung out in the locker room with the Charlotte Christian basketball team and his coach, Sean Brown. He had a grateful attitude, Brown said. That meant a lot for me simply because of who he continues to be as a person. Even through all the accolades and accomplishments, he continues to help a lot of our alumni that want to be a part of what we're continuing to do. Stephen Curry meets with the Charlotte Christian basketball team and coach Sean Brown during a visit in January to have his jersey retired by the school. Courtesy Charlotte Christian School, Curry's hometown friends appreciate his small gestures because of Curry's fame. Some of his former teachers and teammates say they abstain from asking him for tickets or filling up his inbox constantly with text messages. Still, Curry has offered plenty of examples that show he has not forgotten his roots. Following his Jersey retirement at Charlotte Christian, Curry had an in-depth conversation with Dean Hardy, his 12th grade philosophy and apologetics teacher. A day after Curry and his wife Aisha dined with former President Barack Obama in the 2014-15 season, Curry flew into Cleveland and caught up with former Davidson teammate Andrew Lovedale over dinner. After spending his time at Davidson tutoring local students at the Ada Jenkins Center, Curry hosted a celebrity golf tournament, 2012-14, that raised $210,000 for the Educational Center. 
During those times, executive director Georgia Kruger observed Curry willingly posing for photos and talking with children. Fair has stayed so close with Curry that they often trash talk about Curry's favorite NFL team, Carolina Panthers, or his initial futile efforts to grow a beard. Curry has invited Fair out to games both at Oracle Arena and on the road. Fair, who teaches a broadcasting class, asked Curry to record a video for a student's project. In the video, cue to the 1450 mark in the video above, Curry played himself and tried to recruit a pair of local basketball players to join Under Armour, the show company that endorses him. Only problem, the players did not know who Curry was. He made those kids stay. I can't believe that happened, but that's the power of Stephen Curry. Fair said. He loves the people there. I don't think the connection to Charlotte will ever leave, therefore, the city's unofficial host of this year's NBA All-Star Weekend plans to put on a show both with his play and a busy itinerary. Warriors HQ Podcast, be sure to visit our podcast page at mercurynews.com. You can also get notified of new episodes on iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, Stitcher and SoundCloud, asterisk 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 follow Bay Area News Group Warriors beat writer Mark Medina on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram.